are again in the Winrose neighborhood. This is Dusty Glen. Um, this street goes down. You can see there's a little circle there and it also pans around to the left and at the very end of the street it is a cul-de-sac. So you're not going to have a whole lot of traffic here. You're the second house um, on the left. So that's the corner house there. And, um, and I'll come back and talk about that in a little bit when we go in the backyard. So let's go in. This is a two-car garage. Uh, it was, it's got um, sprinkler systems. It's a four-bedroom, two and a half baths, and it does have J uh, GE stainless steel appliances. So we go to the front here, and you've got this leaded glass front door. When you first walk into the home, you can see the um, upstairs. It's very open. You've got tile flooring. And when you walk in, nice tile flooring, I like that. To the left is a designated office, which I thought was pretty cool for you guys. For Mark, it's got the French doors. It's not huge, but it's definitely doable. You can see how much they have in there. They have some nice dark laminate floors in here. And they've done one wall in red. Um, over here, they have a nice big closet that goes under the stairs so and then here's a view of the floors they seem to be in really good shape you've got he's got a TV mounted over there ceiling fan and then there's your double doors tile floor here to the left of the office you have a half bath which two of the other houses did not have that. Um, but you do have, have a half bath here with a pedestal sink and the tile flooring. Then you've got a hall closet here, it's just a coat closet. And over here to the left, you've got a dining room area. Very tall ceilings here. And then they did those same laminate floors, dark laminate floors in here, which looks really pretty. Up at the top of the stairs, they've got a niche. And they've updated, it looks like most of the lighting in here. Right here you can see the lighting. I love that landing that they have there at the top of the stairs, that's nice. And you see the nice leaded glass front door. So let's go through now to the rest of the house. The living room is carpeted, tile here, and the kitchen opens up to the living room. So here's your living room. It's not huge, but it's definitely workable. Um, doing this video, you guys can kind of make the determination of how much furniture you have or what you're gonna put in here and if this would work. But um, tall ceilings here, nice gray color. The colors are really nice and neutral. See that, that's your, dining room we were just in gas log fireplace and then a wall of windows here and then you've got this nice um breakfast area over here and they've continued that gray gray color on the walls that's your back door which does have a doggy door tile flooring the tile looks great here let me just get down here and show you so you can see it's the carpet there's your tile they do have kind of a yellow colored wall here on the bar to the kitchen and you'll see how this kind of all overlooks get that get a feel for how open that is see that's your front front door and then you have a, a walkway there above and let's go into the kitchen you've got granite countertops in here they did the dark black. Let me see if I can get close enough. I'll try some different angles for you so that you can kind of see the color, but it, it looks to be in really good condition. Rounded corners here on the granite. And they've got stainless steel gas burning stove, which is fantastic because we do have some hurricanes here in Texas. And that way you can still cook if you have a hurricane. So you'll see that you can store some things above your refrigerator, tall cabinets, built-in microwave, stove, GE, 
good size under cabinet lighting and your laundry room is just off of the kitchen which does have a door there are no cabinets but you do have a shelf and then over here as well there is a plug so if you wanted to uh, put a fridge in there let me just give you another view here the kitchen is not huge um, because of the island but the island does offer you some more cabinet space Got a great sink here backsplash and a really good sized pantry so unfortunately I don't have a pause button on here so we're just gonna have to keep walking through you're gonna have to hear me huffing and puffing going up and down all these stairs and everything here's your master bedroom you've got really tall um, ceilings in here nice ceiling fan carpet looks to be in good condition this is again got king size furniture so that you can get a good feel for the size of the room and what your room would look like with your things in it nice window there and we'll go into the master bath which is tile flooring and you've got a nice size closet in here you do share this closet so it looks like to the right they're using it for her there's some built-ins here and then over to the left is his but it's, it's a good size closet I'm going to have a closet here, and you'll see the stand-up shower. Not brass, but it's not got the, you know, all the decorative pieces and tile, but you, again, could change that. You've got your deep soaker tub. It's not a jacuzzi tub, but to be honest with you, a lot of times those jacuzzi tubs have a lot of problems and end up not working. You've got one sink here with a little niche to the side there's the lighting got a light bulb out there's some discoloration on this mirror not a big deal but I do just want to point that out there at the bottom um, and then let's pan around over here and you can see the other sink which has a little kick out over here to where you could pull up a stool for your makeup or curling your hair or whatever you need to do there and then of course your commode over here So we're going to go out and up the stairs. So we go through the master, there's your kitchen, breakfast room, living room, dining room, there's the office we looked at earlier, and we'll head up the stairs. I like this niche they have here. And so when you get to the top of the stairs, you've got this room that they're using for a game room. This could be an office if you didn't want to use the downstairs designated office or just another game room for you another sitting area and this is all very open so you could um, change these spindles out with a wrought iron seems to be what people are doing a lot nowadays it just gives it a, a nicer look nice lighting there this is also an area that you could use as an office. I mean, there's a lot of options with this house as far as where you want to put your office. They've got kiddos, so they're obviously using this as a little art station. Bathroom, tile flooring. Bedroom upstairs, a fan. Vaulted ceilings. Let's check out this closet. Kind of got some stuff in here, but good sized closet. So here's the other side you can see of that game room. When we walked up the stairs, that's the other side of that wall. 
This is another bedroom that's at the front of the home. Good size. Two windows facing the front of the house and a closet. I hope I'm not making you too dizzy here, but like I said, I don't have a pause button on here, so we're doing all the turns and everything together here. But overall, this is just a great house. It's very open. It's It's got the open floor plan that you're looking for. Another bedroom over here and this nifty thermostat that they just got. I just saw the box and the um, receipt downstairs for this. So you've got your other bedroom over here. They've got two beds in here. It is yellow, so you might have to paint. Nice size closet in here, and here we go. Here's what Mark wants to see. Let me open this bad boy up for you so you can kind of see if we've got the Cat 5. Kind of what we've got going on in here. This is where they set up their internet wires. I'm trying to get this shut here so I don't leave that open. All right. So let's go back downstairs. We're just gonna do a final walk through of this. Here was that area that they're using as an art area. See how this kind of overlooks the breakfast room, kitchen, living room, dining room, very open, and the spindles open up to the front so you can see the front entryway as well. And then there's that office downstairs and all the bedrooms over here that we just looked at. So one final thing we're gonna do is go out into the backyard. Now the backyard, I guess the downside to this house would be that the lot is not huge compared to some of the houses that we saw, Mark, when you were here. Um, however, the way that this is designed, you won't have anybody directly behind you. Because remember earlier I was talking about how you're the second house on the street. So that's the first house, okay? So that's the neighboring house. Now you've got this stone wall in the back because that faces um, the community. I'll show you. I'm going to get up here on a chair so that you can see. But um, you do have covered, you know, covered patio with recessed lighting. There's two fans out here. A nice slab. I'm going to get up here so you can see what this is behind the house is just a little, it's a, a green space. It's a common area space is what it is where they're going to keep up those crepe myrtles and they're going to be mowing for you. But outside of that, it's just a four, it's a, it's a stop sign that goes through um, to the other sections of the neighborhoods. It's very quiet, very um very little travel on this street so I don't want you to be put off by the fact that the yard is smaller um, and worried that there's something that could be built behind you yes it is smaller but you're not going to see anything coming up behind you so here I'm trying to see if I can get a car coming but I, there just hasn't even been a car since I've been standing here so here's a neighbors to the left fence and I'm going to walk back through to the front. It looks like it's pre-wired um, for some speakers. Let's get a look at the roof. It's good. It's got the ridge bent. It has the doggy door. And we're going to go on to the next house.